Hello guys, Deathred88 back with another episode of Let's Play Open TTD. Now I do apologize for not posting any videos recently because I have been busy with school and finals and all that fun stuff. And yeah, it's not fun doing finals for college level English courses. So we're going to try and make some more videos over the break, more than I normally make. I'm not sure how that's going to work out, but we'll see how it goes. In the last episode, I think we're connecting stuff all together. I think we worked on oil in the center here. I remember that. And that's about all I remember. As I said, it's been about a week since I've done anything with the videos. And yeah, so now we're just going to find maybe more stuff to connect up. Maybe we can run this guy over here. So you're doing okay. How about you? You're doing okay. Alright, so those guys are doing okay. So let's build something across here. There we go. connects those two up. Oh, don't need it quite that close. And there we go. Hopefully that doesn't get lost. Now we can look at how much everything's making. Ships are ships are making about a million a year. It looks like that's just the couple that we have. We spent tons of money on construction, and we're still making money this year, so that's good. Um, I don't know what else we can look at. Yes, the company is worth thirty-seven million. I think the goal was to have a hundred million cash. Was the original goal I came up with. I think I'm just going to play this through for right now. I'm not sure though. We'll figure it out as we go, it looks like. So here's another oil field, oil well. One thing we could do too is we could run it across here to this guy. Like shoot a station off through here and then have it rejoin in here somewhere. Might not be a bad idea. And then we have this whole area we can deal with too if we wanted to. And... forgot we have cities up here. 15,000, that's, that's a lot of people in one city. Have anyone... no one doing anything there. Probably want to clone another one of those trains just at the amount of oil they have. We're going to want another train, because I want one waiting there. So let's go back to the depot here. Clone a train. And yeah, there we go. You could also run helicopters out here, but I don't, I've never really found that to be profitable. Of these two here. The only bad thing about oil is it doesn't run out pretty quickly. I mean, I don't think the offshore oil wells do, but I think the the ones that are placed on the map normally run out pretty quick. Oh, that's a faster diesel train. That's why you don't want to do that. That could be bad. If 
fix it? I fixed it. Okay. Yeah, sometimes things like that will happen. There we go. Now where's this forest that I connected you to? It's up this way it looks like. there for a second. I was like, I never set it up against a computer. Train should be... Oh, that's a cool train. Oh, yep, they're the one I'm looking for. Alright, so now if we look at trains... We'll wait for that diesel train to go around a couple of years, and we'll upgrade to that guy. Because we have $33 million. It's not like we're running out of money. And... Yeah, they're at about 5000 They're slowly growing. As to where you see this, this is just a massive city. 16000 now. It was at fifteen last I checked. These guys aren't doing too bad, are they? You haven't built across my railroad track at all? Hope not. So we got those guys all running into here. Let's see if that helps out at all with getting passengers out of that station.
wires in there, and now, theoretically, you should be able to go in for maintenance, theoretically, and stop breaking down, because now you're going to back up all our trains. I hope that you're smart enough to do it, but I have been proven wrong. Yep, so now we got one train waiting there. Yep, there we go. Maintenance. Helps to have these stations every now and then. Yes, I can come off those. Actually, we gotta go back one more. static that I keep doing this in their home. Oh, no, that was the wrong button. should be a lot more reliable, hopefully. But we need signals, don't we? Okay. There we go. So now tra pretty much anything traveling along this corridor should get maintenance. If it was having maintenance issues before. Reliability is the other thing that can bite into profitability. So you always want to make sure everything's getting maintenance, or that's when you get the massive backups everywhere. And then let's start expanding the city, because why not? One there, one there. We'll do one here. We'll just run a couple buses that go across the city all the time. Maybe we'll throw one there. Here, go here, go here. Make two of you and go. So how are you doing? You're doing okay, it looks like. Care 
cars and trains. Trains will worry about when the next one comes out. Because faster means more money. In essence. It sort of helps to have these stations to where they all connect up. Because now whenever there's an excess of like passengers that the planes can't handle, trains can take care of it and vice versa. So like if we get a massive influx of passengers here, the uh, the planes will take care of them if the train can't deal with it. Okay, so it looks like you got replaced already. Maybe. Or not. Okay, whatever. Almost 17,000 there. Got planes going. Let's speed through a couple more years. Because I don't know of anything we can do off the, offhand right now. There we go. My computer is having some slight issues handling stuff for the amount of vehicles that was on hand. So that diesel train's available now. What is your reliability? You are at 66, you're 83, you're 89. I think we'll just start replacing these guys with the 40s. Start replacing. Speed everything up a little bit. We can go back down to steam trains if we wanted to. I don't think that would help us, but we can. And as you can tell, we have so much stuff now running on here that it's just lagging severely. We're still making money even though we've spent tons of money this year on trains. So we're going to try and run to the ocean, see if that fixes our frame rate issue. It does, somewhat. And yeah. So we sped it up about a year. And as you can tell, we're starting to get some of these weird buildings in here, which are the higher end skyscrapers. Sort of what I'm aiming for, but not anything particular. Alright. So he's making some money. Yeah, if we go right here, we hit fast forward, it doesn't go too much faster. But that's because of the amount of stuff on screen. And we've still replaced a bunch of stuff. And we're still in the green. Let's see what we've done for trains. Have we replaced all the trains yet? Pretty much all of them. Okay. I'll fast forward again until we get all of these guys replaced. Because with the newer train, it's not only faster, but you get more horsepower. Which is good. Not sure what the horsepower on this guy is. So it's faster, but it's less horsepower. And at least its reliability is going up. It looks like it might be a while till we get this all replaced. But it's work in progress. We're almost at 40 million. And. Yeah, that's. It's about as far as we've gotten. Maybe we could start grabbing from these farms or something. Because essentially we could run from down here to over here somewhere. Try not to do it close to this guy. 
we can run two, two of these off of it because those are our main resources if not three and transport that into our factory or we can start transporting into a new factory too it just depends and we got four lines here so that's the good news uh, yeah uh, that'll be the end of the episode here guys as always go ahead like the video if you like it please subscribe and if you have any ideas as to how I can improve go ahead and comment those below and I will see you guys in the next video